Elden Ring is From Software's first foray into the open world genre, and what a foray it is! Boasting over 80 hours of gameplay on your first playthrough, Elden Ring is a masterclass of everything I'm looking for in a video game. A means of drowning out my thoughts to escape the prison of consciousness. We all know From Software games are hard, and this one is no exception. Prepare to die, but that's not what you should be afraid of dying you should fear instead not living it's what happens after you die the screen turns to black and you see yourself in the reflection another year gone by with nothing to show for it you play as a tarnished compelled to make a journey to the lands between and become an elden lord the lore is deep and complex and unafraid to let you piece together the shards of this rich and complex tale all by yourself experiencing the story of elden ring was just enough to make me forget that the story of my own life would not be worth telling. The only critique that I have is that sometimes while exploring the beautiful open world area on my horse torrent, sometimes there would not be enough stimulus to drown out every single one of my thoughts, and so I would half think some problems that I've had with my own life. Then I would run into a unique dungeon area of which there's enough to fill out an entire new Souls game all on its own, and then I would forget about what we're we talking about again? The orchestral soundtrack is perfectly immersive, by which I mean hypnotic enough to make me forget that I exist. Elden Ring's electrifying soundtrack allows me to drown out my own internal monologue into a comforting static hum, and pretend as though if I can avoid eye contact with my problems long enough, they'll go away. The epic choral swells and rhythmic strings are the perfect pillow with which I use to place over the head of my thoughts as they sleep, watching, watching as their legs and arms thrash, holding it there until the thrashing ceases, each time rewiring my brain a little bit more to stop questioning to it. To allow that comforting static to wash over me again. In conclusion, Elden Ring is an incredible game that takes you back to a time before your brain was just totally dopamine fucked. Like, just completely fucked. Fucked, and you can't even enjoy a fun game anymore because you just have such an unhealthy relationship to dopamine and stimulating content on, on the internet that you're not able, you're not able to just sit down and enjoy something anymore because it's not what it is. You used to enjoy it, but now you just want to feel what you felt when you were a kid and it's gone, it's gone, it's dead, and now I gotta do that thing where I return to the original point so that the tension doesn't linger. 10 out of 10 great graphics! When I was a kid, the only thing I could do that would stop me from being afraid was to open up my DS and stare at the screen and wait for all my fears to finally leave. And I'm grown. Beep boop, I went alone. Beep boop, same addictions are still here. Mash X. And I rely so much on the same old crutch to avoid every one of my fears. Press Y. I rely so much on the same old crutch to avoid every one of my fears. New Game Plus. I rely so much on the same old crutch to avoid every one of my fears. My favorite genre is the roguelike.